We have news tonight about treating breast cancer. A Harvard professor wants the world to know about a low-cost drug that she believes could save lives. The problem is she can't find funding for a study. Medical Sciences correspondent Kelly Crow explains why. Aspirin has been relieving pain for over 100 years. But could it have cancer-fighting potential? Maybe, according to a study of women being treated for breast cancer who also took aspirin. We were uh, um, kind of amazed to find that among those women who were taking aspirin for other reasons, they had a 50% lower risk of dying of their breast cancer than the women who weren't taking aspirin. A dramatic finding, but the only way to prove it is through an expensive clinical trial. And who will pay? Not major drug companies, because aspirin is cheap and patent-free, and there's no chance of profit. And the researchers have already been turned down for government funding. My colleagues and I are a little frustrated that we haven't been able to convince anyone to fund this. So Michelle Holmes wrote this op-ed column in the New York Times describing the dilemma, aspirin, a potential cancer treatment, sitting idle in the medicine cabinet for lack of interest. That prompted an angry response from a former head of research for Pfizer, one of the world's largest drug companies. John Lamatina's point, that the industry is busy chasing new discoveries. All sorts of new knowledge is, is bursting on the scene on a daily basis with the unraveling of the Human Genome Project and the number of targets far, and, and the potential ideas far outstrip the monies we have right now. And he says drug companies would not be able to make money from aspirin. If you invested in aspirin and, and, and showed that it worked, that's fine, but, but you would have no return on something that would cost some millions of dollars to do. Yet most new therapies come from industry because governments are not in the drug development business. The problem is, is that we've depended on that to that mechanism to get new treatments, which doesn't allow any room for re-examining old treatments. Medical Sciences correspondent Kelly Crow is with us now. Uh, Kelly, are there other kinds of cancer that researchers think might benefit from aspirin as well? Yes, there are. It looks like uh, there, there may be some evidence to suggest it might be effective in, in stomach cancer, colon cancer, pancreatic cancer, as well as breast cancer. Now, a clinical trial is just getting underway in Britain right now. A group has come up with some funding from a charity, and they're about to, to start that trial. Although the, uh, the Harvard researchers say that's going to take about a decade to get results. And they argue that if we were looking at breast cancer alone, we could have the answer in about half that time, if they could find the money. You raise important questions here. Are there other staples in our medicine cabinet that could also be effective for other things? It looks like it. There, there's interest in beta blockers, in, in some diabetic medications, and other common generic drugs. And in every one of these cases, the researchers same, face the same problem. How to find funding for expensive clinical trials outside of the traditional drug discovery process. Thank you so much, Kelly. Thank you.